It stands taller than the Statue of Liberty, signalling the dawn of a new era in space exploration, the aim of NASA's Artemis programme to return humans to the moon. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. With the Orion Command capsule at the centre, this is the most powerful rocket ever built. And lift off. It's maiden voyage an unmanned test mission, overseen by a new generation of engineers. They're very wide-eyed and, and doing, a, again, a fantastic job. We have some extremely smart people that have come up very quickly through the, the ranks to, to get the positions that they now hold in the firing room. And we have trained and trained to get them to the level at, so that they would be ready to support this launch countdown. And everybody has to have a first one, right? And this is going to be the first for, for a, a great number of people in that room. We're going to the moon. If all goes to plan, they hope to land the first woman and first person of colour on the moon by 2025, keeping America ahead of China. We're in a space race, and we want to get to the South Pole of the moon where the resources are, where we think water is. If there's water, there's rocket fuel. And uh, we don't want China suddenly getting there and saying, ah, this is our exclusive territory. It's a quarter of a million miles to the moon and Artemis 1 will go 40,000 miles beyond that, further than any spacecraft equipped to carry humans has gone before. But even that is just the start of this journey. NASA hopes to establish a permanent moon base, the first step to putting humans on Mars. NASA has registered thousands of watch parties here in America and around the world. It'll be the most consequential liftoff in a generation. And Artemis 1 is go for launch. David Blevins, Sky News, Cape Canaveral, Florida.